Hello everyone, in today's tutorial we are going to see how to create this Valentine's Day photo template using Adobe Photoshop. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, so let's go ahead and open Photoshop and then I will go to File, New, and we are going to create a document with 1920 in the width. 1080 in the height, 300 in the resolution, and RGB in the color mode. And then we click OK. Alright, so the first thing that we are going to add is a background color. So I will go to adjustments in here and I will choose solid color. And the color I will be using is a dark red color. So I'm gonna type 5D 2525 and I'll OK. And I can delete this background. And I will call this color fill to BG for background. And then I'm gonna add a gradient so it will work uh, as kind of vignette to our document. So I will go to adjustments again and I will choose gradient. And I will change the gradient from here. So I'm gonna choose this black to white gradient. It's a default gradient. And I'll press OK. After that, I will change the style to radio. And then I'm gonna check this reverse. So we will have a white in the center and then I'm gonna change the angle to around 135 and in the scaling I'm gonna put 160 and as you can see this will leave us with this kind of black around the corner and that's what we want and I'll press OK now I will change the blending mode of this gradient to overlay and I will put down the opacity to around 80 to 75 Alright, now I will apply a little bit of noise to this gradient, so I will go to filter, noise, and I'm gonna choose add noise. And Photoshop will let me know that I need to rasterize my gradient or convert it to smart object. So I will choose convert to smart object. And I will put 6 to 5% in the amount in here, uh, uniform in the distribution and the monochromatic is checked, and I will press OK. Alright, now it's time to add our payroll flower. So we go to my file and I will start with this one in here. So we'll take it and open it in a new tab. And as you can see, it's already in a PNG format. So we don't have to cut it or anything. So we'll take it and drag it to the other document in here. And I will close this one. And let me name it payroll one. Alright, now we'll zoom out a little bit by pressing Alt and screwing down. And then I'm gonna press Ctrl T so I can resize it. So I will press Alt Shift on my keyboard and I will make it smaller just a little bit. And then I will rotate it a little bit. That's right about here. Alright, and I will one click on this check mark. Alright, now it's time for us to add the photo frame. So we'll go again to my folder. And I will take this photo frame in here and open it in a new tab. And as you can see, it's already in a PNG format. So again, you don't need to cut it or anything. So take it and drag it to the other document. And then I will zoom out a little bit again. And I will press Ctrl T again. And I will resize it by pressing Alt Shift on my keyboard. And I will resize it just right about here. Then I will zoom in. After that, I will tilt it a little bit, just a bit like this, and I will put it just right here. And I will one click on this check mark. Alright, let me close this document in here, and then I will rename this to frame. Alright, after that, we need to fill this space that we have in the frame so we can add our picture. So I will go and select the payroll one layer in here and I will create a new layer just above it and I will call this image and then I will select my pen tool and I will make sure that I'm using path instead of shape and then I will go to this corner of the frame and I will one click and I will go to the other corner and one click again and the third corner and the fourth corner and I will close it to the first corner in here now I will right click and choose fill path and in the contents you can leave it to foreground color it doesn't matter and press ok and as you can see this will fill it with uh, whatever foreground color you have 
I have black so it's fill it with black and then I will one click on the escape key so I can delete this path in here now I will right click on this image and I will choose convert to smart object and now we can double click on it so it will open any new tab and as you can see we have it in here now I will make this canvas a little bit bigger so I will select my crop tool and then I'm gonna press alt shift on my keyboard and I will resize it to make it a little bit bigger and I will one click on this check mark all right now it's time for us to place the image that we'll be using so we we'll go to my folder again and I will open this image in here in a new tab and then I will take it and drag it to the smart object tab in here and I will close this now I will make it as a clipping mask to this rectangular shape that we created so we'll select the image in here and then I'm gonna press alt and I will go in between and I will one click and as you can see this will clip it to this uh, rectangular shape in here all right now we can resize it to fit with this shape so I'm gonna press ctrl T again and I will zoom out a little bit and then I'm gonna press alt shift on my keyboard and I will resize it just right here and I will zoom in and I will resize it a little bit more and then I will tilt it a little bit so it will go with the shape in here and I will make it a little bit bigger just you know where you can see it fits perfectly and I will one click on this check mark all right now we can close this smart object document so I will close it from here and I will make sure to press yes so it will save it to the smart object layer in here and as you can see we have our image inside the frame all right now it's time for us to add the other pair of flowers so I will go to my folder again and I will select this flower in here and open it in a new tab again and then I will take it and drag it to the other tab and I will rename it first to Pero 2 and then I will zoom out a little bit and I will press ctrl T again and I will make it smaller and I will put it just right here and I will press enter now I'm gonna make a copy of it so I'm gonna press alt on my keyboard and take it and drag it to right here and then I will press ctrl T and I will take this one and I will rotate it a little bit and I will put it just right here and I will press enter after that I will go to my folder again and I will drag this third pair of flower in here so I will take it and open it in a new tab and I will take it to the other tab in here and let me close this two in here and then I will name it Pero 3 and I will press ctrl T again and I will make it smaller just right here and then I will create a copy of this so I'm gonna press alt again and take it and drag it just right here and you know you can add as many a pair of flowers as you want but for this tutorial I will just keep it like this now we're gonna add a little bit of blur to these edges in here so we select all the petals in here by pressing ctrl and then I will right click and choose convert to smart object and I will call this petal and then I will go to filter blur and I will choose Gaussian blur and I will give them around 7 radius pixel in here and I will press ok now as you can see because it's a smart object it will give me this smart filter that I can fill in black and then add the blur to wherever we want so I'm gonna press ctrl i on my keyboard so I will invert this white to black and then I will select my brush and I will make sure that I'm using a white color and 100% in the opacity and 100% in the flow and I will make sure that I'm using this smart filter layer in here and I will add a little bit of blur just right here and right here and you know you can choose wherever you want to add it so I'm just gonna add a little bit in the edges just like this as you can see it looks really good like this all right now we're gonna add a little bit of adjustment so we'll go to adjustment in here and we'll choose curves and I will add two points one here and one here so we'll take this point and I will drag it a little bit up just right here and I will take the other one and I will go back to the first point and as you can see this add a little bit of light to the image but I'm gonna bring down the opacity to around 
60% all right and after that i will go to adjustment again and i will add a little bit of exposure so i will take the offset and i will put it around 0 0.0042 and then i will bring down the gamma correction to around 0 0.85 Alright, and I will bring down the opacity again to around 50%. Alright, now the last thing that we are going to add is a photo filter. So I will go again to adjustment and I will choose photo filter in here. And I will change the color to a warmer yellow color. Just like this. And I will press OK. And I will increase the density to around 30%. And that would be all. Alright, so I hope that you enjoyed and you liked this tutorial and this was a little bit helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know let me know on Instagram if you tried this Valentine poster. And have a nice day. Thank you for watching.